Some of you may have heard of Labrad, a mutated, horrifying creature. But what if I told you there's more to his story, and it's quite sad. Good evening or morning, you might have heard of me. I'm Marcus. I've lost a brother one week ago after finding out on the news. So, how about I tell you Labrat's story? It may be sad, but let's begin. Our story begins with a young, kind-hearted fella named Billy. He lived in a peaceful town, or so he thought. You see, people made fun of him because of his appearance. Even his bully, Julian, who we'll talk about another time, made fun of him. Even at the target range, he tried to find friends. But either they didn't want to, or they didn't like him. People made fun of him and gave him the nickname Mendax. The nickname spread out, and that's the name the bullies gave him. So, poor Billy went up to the bullies and told them, I'm running away from society, and I won't come back. And that's just what he did. But they thought it would be only for a few weeks. And so, Billy went out to live in the forest and built a campfire and placed down tents and from that day on he lived in the forest but not for long if you have heard the news someone else is living in the forest i heard they lived on a farm but only for a week since the farm actually belonged to the unknown mouse that terrorized society and is now in solitary confinement Anyways, back to our story. This is where things start to tip. Billy was all on his own and alone. But one night, he noticed a light in the distance. It looked to be something white and large. But then he saw something or someone and it looked like it was heading towards him. Without warning, he was suddenly kicked and punched towards the ground. A group of workers screamed at each other, and after a few, they knocked him out, put him in their truck, and drove away to a mysterious place. When they got there, they parked their car outside, but they didn't know about the landslide that would come to the place that night. As it turned out, the group of people were actually scientists taking Billy to test out their new experiment. They stabbed the syringe onto Billy's hand. Billy was about to tell security, but he didn't know where it was. But after a few minutes, the liquid started to terrorize his body. Then, a large tail busted out of Billy's backside. The scientists talked to each other about it, and they approved of it and walked away without thinking of what they had done. Later, they placed Billy in one of their chambers in case his body got to grotesque. His body got worse as his eyes started to become weak. A few days later, a friend of mine, Marco, was placed in one of the chambers. He didn't like the sight of Billy, the scientist's first experiment. He later got released, unlike Billy. The scientists wanted to see how much the liquid could do. I feel like the two people who escaped from the lab could have gotten much worse. As the days went by, more people slowly got added. Even the guy who escaped from the lab. Billy's eyes soon popped out and his body soon got more grotesque and large. Soon, Billy's eyes soon looked like they were sewed shut. He got a bit larger as the months went on. He was soon placed in a bigger chamber, away from the other experiments. A mutated experiment replaced the chamber Billy was originally in. Billy's voice was gone, and he could only make growling noises. His name slowly drifted away. 
and people soon began calling him Labrat. They didn't know what happened to him before. Billy soon grew angry. He wanted to get revenge. He wanted to get revenge on the scientists and the bullies. But he was trapped, alone, and he knew people would for sure run away if they saw him like this. He didn't know what to do. He could punch, but the glass was too strong. He could shout, but barely anyone could hear him. He now wants to be with society again, but his form was now too grotesque. It may sound like I'm making it up, but it's the cold hard truth. He's still in the lab. Hopefully he can get out sometime. But I'm not sure. But that's it for now. That's the end of his story. Good night.